Hi, I'm Tim Pashi, a physics teacher here at Toma High School. Uh, what we've been doing in the, the physics classrooms at Toma High School has been a analyzing videos, taking a look at uh, a lot of physics based on what we see in the real world, world or even in the virtual world, such as Angry Birds. Uh, so what we did is we took a look at, at Angry Birds to see what the actual scale is, it, it, does it actually follow what we see in gravity in terms of our everyday life, and just, just to see what, what happens with Angry Birds when you actually launch the bird. Is the velocity constant? Should it be constant? What's going on here? So Alex is going to play the video for us. So it may look like we're actually missing, but we're trying to miss. We're trying to figure out different angles. So he's going to play the second one. The first bird just kind of flew off right there. You can see the data points. Uh, the second bird missed again, but we send a little higher. Now we're going to send the last bird even higher. And there we go. Let's see. Oh, took down the pig. We're good to go. All right. So the whole point of this is that we're taking a look at the at the physics of Angry Birds. The, should the bird be flying off at the constant velocity? Should the should the arcs matter where he's going to end up landing? Does angle play a role in where the bird's going to land? Is there a nice sweet angle that the bird should be at every time that you try and launch it? Uh, and that's what we took a look at. We read an article about Angry Birds that a physicist wrote, and we analyzed it as a class. All right, guys, would you like to come up and talk about what you learned? I'm Alex. I'm Tyler. We're uh, students in Mr. Pashi's AP Physics class. And we, as a class, we analyzed Angry Birds, and we kind of discovered what's true, what's false about the game. Um, well, in order to make the more game more enjoyable for people to play, they had to change a lot of uh, constants in it, like gravity, and their velocity always stays the same. Yeah, and we also read an article um, about how Angry Birds really changed physics because the first thing we discovered is that as the bird is launched from the slingshot there, that the velocity is constant from any angle, and we found that that cannot be true, first off. Due to the elasticity of a rubber band, if you were to change the angle, it would change the velocity because it also has to fight gravity then. And um, we also discovered that due to how big that slingshot is, that the angry bird would probably be about the size of a beach ball, so it would be rather large compared to the buildings.